Okay, now we're talking about the nine saints. And we're especially talking here about Kali Janta, whom I love. And I know one of his great, great, great descendants. Her name is Shanti. And she lives in Jakarta. And Kali Jaga was, my goodness, you can't, can't believe his story. We won't go into it in great detail, but he was a great saint. He was like a Robin Hood. And then he became a great saint. And then he takes Islam to the Javanese. He was an aristocrat, very high family. But he takes Islam to the peasants, the rice peasants. And he teaches them Islam through shadow puppets. Those are shadow puppets. And those are his puppets. You see how skinny they are? How long their noses are? That's because there was another saint named Sunan Giri, I think. And Sunan Giri says, haram to make these puppets. Because in the beginning he had little fat puppets. Traditional ones. So he goes back to the drawing board and he makes these and he says, Sun and Sun and Kiri, do you think these could live? Well, I don't think so. He said, I'm going to use these then. So this is Kali Jaka and they're very beautiful. And then they all tell stories. They'll tell stories about the great encounter that you've read about between Hamza and Krishna or Vishnu or between Yusuf and one of the other heroes or gods. Of course, all made up, right? But that's the way they talk to the people. And then they teach Islamic ethics. They teach Islamic teachings. They teach Islamic beliefs. And also they're very smart because you had mostly the people there in Indonesia were Shivite Hindus. They were some Shiva. Or they were Buddhists. So they knew what the Shivites like and what they didn't like. They knew where the Shivites get ecstatic. And so they played to that. And they knew that there are things the Shivites do that we don't like. So they left that alone. They didn't attack it. But we'll give you something beautiful. And so they bring the Shivites and the Buddhists into Islam through what they know. Again, remember Amr ibn al house. Didn't he know the Romans pretty well? Well, they knew their people very well. And we have to know our people very well whether they're black or white or Latino or First Nations or whatever they might be. Let's keep going. And more of his shadow puppets, more of his shadow puppets.